the world is watching. Hi guys, it's Dave in real life and welcome to today's video and today we are looking at five greatest Wrestlemania superstars. Yeah, you know, the wrestlers that immediately pop into your head when you think about Wrestlemania. Obviously it's Wrestlemania 40 and we're amidst of the craziness of the uh, of the road to Wrestlemania. So yeah, it is Wrestlemania 40 as well. So it's a big birthday for Wrestlemania and WWE. So yeah, we're going to do quite a lot of videos on this. So this is just the first one. Uh, yeah, we're going to get straight into it with somebody I've got at number five. And that is The Rock, baby. If you smell what The Rock is cooking. Yeah, you know. Uh, basically, he's at number five. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff about The Rock right now leading into WrestleMania 40. And you'll just look back at old WrestleManias. There's quite a few matches and things that we can have a look at. And we are going to have a look at his foot. One of his bigger matches is, is from WrestleMania 17 against Stone Cold Steve Austin. He goes into this one as champ. Obviously, we get... a. Uh, Heel turn from Stone Cold as he joins Vince McMahon. And of course, this is where Rock went off, off to Hollywood. But it was a fantastic match. And pretty much was the the end of the Attitude Era as we would move quickly into the Ruthless Aggression Era. era. Uh, our second match we're going to look at uh, for The Rock is Rock Hogan. Uh, only a year later, he came back. Uh, to start at WrestleMania 18, this match should have been the main event. I mean, honestly, go check this match out if you haven't already. The crowd uh, was absolutely on point. They really, really was loud. Uh, booing Rock at some parts of the match. Cheering Hogan, even though he was the heel. <laughs> it's such a great match. Yeah, uh, Triple H and Booker T, I believe, was the match what followed this. Uh, they, they literally didn't stand a chance. But yeah, this match was absolute fire. Uh, and last Rock match we're going to look at, well, it was not even the last one because it happened twice. Yeah, once in a lifetime, they said. <laughs> it's Rock versus Cena. Uh, this came from uh, WrestleMania 28, and then they did it again because it was that god goddamn good. Uh, WrestleMania 29. <laughs> yeah, too much of The Rock. Yeah, once in a lifetime, they said. Yeah, it's not the first time WWE have lied to their fans, is it? <laughs> anyway, but yeah, that is The Rock at number five. We're now going to move on to number four. That is Stone Cold Steve Austin. Hell yeah. Yeah, Steve Stone Cold had a little bit of a different path, obviously. He would face the uh, the Rock at Rate Mania many many times, but we're going to look at his first match with Bret Hart. Yeah, this is the one what made Stone Cold right. This is the match what put him on the map. Basically, people started to cheer for him. He became the anti-hero, sticking it to the man. And it was all thanks to Bret the Hitman Hart and this fantastic match and the fact he would not submit. In a high quit match, uh, just really a dear to the fan base and really skyrocketed uh, Stone Cold uh, to the main event scene. Then we can look at his second match. Uh, highlight for, particularly for Stone Cold is matches in general with The Rock. Uh, we've talked about 17 brief, briefly, but he has faced The Rock on several other occasions and they've been absolute banger of matches. Yeah, in fact, I think they have faced each other a grand total of about four times at Mania. One in a fatal four-way match and two other singles matches. So yeah, the, this is an epo epic WrestleMania rivalry for sure. His last match we'll look at, and his was his last match in WWE. It was only a couple of years ago now. At WrestleMania 28 against Kevin Owens. He would go on to stun Vince McMahon the night after. This happened all on de the day one. It wasn't even meant to be a match. He was just meant to be uh, a, an interview segment, but it did turn into a match in the end. Uh, so, yes, yeah, Stone Cold was such a legend with WrestleMania and WWE altogether. So, I couldn't miss 
him off this video. Then we've got Mr. WrestleMania himself at number three, Shawn Michaels. How could I not do a greatest WrestleMania superstars without mentioning Shawn Michaels? I mean, he did have some of the most iconic matches at WrestleMania, including the first WWE 60-minute Iron Man match with Bret the Hitman Hart, where he claimed his first WWE championship absolutely epic match and uh, yeah really did push him to the main event status and made him a true heartbreak kid true wrestlemania showstopper then he would stop the show for somebody else at wrestlemania 24 yes he was the guy what ended the career of rick flair yeah what an emotional scene that was sorry i love you uh, uh, before his uh, sweet chin music, Ric Flair, to end his career. Uh, obviously, Ric Flair would come back several other times after this, <laughs> especially for a payday. Uh, but yeah, it, this was so iconic and such a great visual. And then we're talking about iconic matches at WrestleMania. His two matches against The Undertaker. The first one happened... At WrestleMania 25, and then to be repeated again the following year at 26. The last one being a career ending match, which saw the end of Shawn Michaels' career. But yet again, he would come back and wrestle. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, the 25 one was the more epic of a match. Uh, these two did have some epic battles, of course. But yeah, he, honestly, Shawn Michaels was a true WrestleMania superstar for sure. Then we go on to number two. Quick segue. It was The Undertaker. And he's, he's definitely on this list, right? He has to be The Streak. All you have to do is mention The Streak. And, uh, yeah, he was 21 and 2. Or maybe a rat's gone up to 22 and 2. I don't know. <laughs> but I know it's definitely moved the needle slightly. Uh, yeah, but obviously he was went 21 matches without a defeat. Obviously he would lose to Brock Lesnar in uh, WrestleMania 30. And that obviously was devastating. Nobody saw that coming. I mean, his reign saw him defeat Triple H twice, Shawn Michaels twice, uh, Kane, his brother, uh, Mark Henry, Jake the Snake Roberts, Jimmy Superfly Snooker, Ah, uh, CM Punk, Edge. Ah, uh, the list goes on on people he defeated during this amazing run. Uh, but obviously, it would come to an end with that Brock match, and then uh, obviously he would lose yet again to Roman Reigns. Uh, only a few years later, there uh, we go. Uh, we do look at his uh, third match, and his. I think this was his last match against John Cena. A big massive squash match it was at WrestleMania 34. He's had several appearances at WrestleMania since then, but this was his last proper. And uh, yeah, John Cena just took a belt in uh, <laughs> from The Undertaker. Does the, the, the round off Undertaker's amazing in-ring career, uh, who's now uh, happily retired. Uh, and then finally, the last guy, what you think of when you think of WrestleMania. And this is the guy what I grew up watching. I, I'm, I'm not a fan of this guy, let's just say that. But yeah, I had to include him. It is Hulk Hogan. Yes, uh, obviously iconic image. WrestleMania 3. I mean, he's been in the main event for quite some WrestleManias, let's put it that way. But his match against Andre the Giant will always go down in Mania history. He lift them, they lift the one man mountain and power slammed him. <laughs> it's that the, it, we make out as if he hadn't done it before, but he, he had. <laughs> but yeah, we move on to the, his amazing match the year later at WrestleMania 5. Uh, well, two years later at WrestleMania 5 uh, against Randy Savage. I mean, this was uh, the mega powers collide match. Uh, I mean, it was epic. Randy Savage was your champion. Hulk Hogan coming in. Uh, obviously, this would be uh, another victory for Hulk Hogan. And then we talked about it earlier. We, uh, and we'll go back to it to finish off uh, the Hulk Hogan story and him being the number one. Obviously, WrestleMania 17, uh, 18, where he faced The Rock, 
was just one of them sh- career shifting matches. He'd come back to WWE as NWO uh, leader Hollywood Hogan, uh, only to come out of that match still loved by the fans and really proved to Vince McMahon at that time that Hulkamania hadn't died and was very much still alive. Uh, Yeah, it did see the end of the NWO gimmick and brought forward back the Hulk Hogan we all know and love from back in our childhood. So yeah, this is my five greatest WrestleMania superstars. Obviously, there's so many I could have talked about in this video, but this is my top five. Obviously, Bret Hart needs to be could be included. So could John Cena. So could Hedge. Oh, I mean, we we ain't got hours like <laughs> we couldn't be here all day. Honestly, have a say in the comment section below who your top five greatest WrestleMania superstars are. And uh, yeah, if I think uh, there's a bit of a repeat from a few of you, we might do another video. But yeah, we're going to be looking at more WrestleMania type videos in the next coming weeks. Uh, greatest moments, celebrity matchups, uh, all the works. We're going to go full on. It is WrestleMania 40 coming in April. So from now until then, more WrestleMania content coming to this channel for sure. So if you enjoyed this video, please slap a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. And of course, leave comments in the comment section. Uh, I've been Dave in real life. You guys have been awesome. Until the next time. Bye for now.